And welcome back to the town of Haralech, where we have a trader. A trader who is currently offering some plum seeds and chestnut seeds. Now, I would very much like to take one of those off their hands so I can swap out some of the orchards that we're currently maintaining. Though, whether we're going to get the firewood down there in time, I don't know. Now, I've been having a bit of a think off camera. I know, dangerous. But, uh, I don't think getting rid of the tree, uh, the woodcutter and the forester from these areas is necessarily the best thing. It would be far more efficient if I just simply move the herbalist, since that's the only building that's having a problem. The question is, where am I going to move them to? Now, there are a few candidates around. There's one just up here. Yes, it wouldn't have the full access to a forest, but it would still be a pretty decent one. Or I could plant one there and maybe just add a forester, just for the time that it takes that forester to plant all of the trees and to harvest the iron and stone. Another very attractive location for a herbalist is here. Now, this forest looks pretty much awesome, honestly. The only thing we'd need to do is clear out some some stone and maybe a little bit of iron. But by and large, that area would be fine for one. So I think that's more than likely what we're going to be going for. Now, have you got everything we need? No, you need another 19 firewood. We could also build one over there, perhaps, but I'm not so fond of this area. We haven't expanded out in that direction enough yet, so... Uh, really want to do that so i'm thinking we'll continue expanding in this direction instead now as for our livestock things are going well 25 25 sheep 10 of 10 sheep we're still a little bit low though we're practically on the edge of having a full uh, cattle herd there obviously a full cattle herd here and a little ways away from getting a full chicken flock not a herd a flock i must remind myself this other than that, though, everything seems to be proceeding as normal. Ah, fantastic. Right, I think we're going to go for some plum seeds. And we will sell all of our firewood in order to get that. Now, that's going to impact our firewood quite badly on that side. So, immediately, I'm going to tell them to reduce the amount that they take and bring back to this trader. That should work. Now, then, how do I go about exchanging... It's just a case of uh, saying, yes, yeah, do plum from now on. I'm not sure it is. I imagine I'm going to have to cut all of the trees there. Right, harvest them. And also grow plums here. Harvest those two. Wow, some of those trees are gone. That's interesting. But once they've done that, I'll go ahead and I'll exchange these ones. I'll have them cut these trees down. Once they've actually got these two, there we go, for zero... Well, that's good enough. Just go ahead and cut it. All right, you. We're going to be waiting on that one for now. The market is slowly being built. It has all of the materials it needs, but we need a little bit more work done there. But yes, I'm really thinking about possibly setting up one herbalist, maybe even two. Let's see how we could fit those in. We want for a herbalist about there, and then we could also have another one about here, and there wouldn't really be any overlap. Granted, this herbalist wouldn't have the best setup, because there is some... Uh, there are some rivers moving through the area would be working, and this one would have a little bit of um, mountain in the way. But honestly, I think that would probably be a fairly good way to set these up. Then I wouldn't need to worry about sending anyone off down there. I could have a central storage barn for both of them to drop their goods off at without either of them having to walk very far in order to do it. I think that would probably be a fairly wise move. Right, as soon as they've uh, cut these trees down, I can only assume they'll plant new ones. Now, I'm running under the assumption that they don't just magically change the tree type because I told them to start harvesting plums from them. I don't think that's very likely, considering how, in many other ways, this uh, game tries to tend towards the realistic where possible. We have fairly good uh, resources, though. Still got almost a thousand firewood. We've got over 10,000 food now. That's a far cry from what it was before. But I think we are hurting for herbs. So that's the next thing that I need to improve. Once we've got that under control, I think I will probably look to expand some more houses. Possibly even return to upgrading the houses. In fact, I could work on that now, given the amount of materials we've got. Yes, let's go ahead and uh, upgrade this house. We've got the means to do it, so why not? And then this place is going to be using up even less wood now there's four homes there there's plenty there we're probably not going to upgrade these these central areas for a while but i could start upgrading the outlying areas 
Yeah, let's also upgrade one of these houses. Ooh, wow, you've got quite a lot. Uh, well, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna kick out old people from their homes. They've got a nice little community there that's supporting them. They don't want to be moved over to the boarding house. Mind you, a young family doesn't either, but they're the better equipped to deal with it, I feel. But on that note, I'm going to be wrapping up this part of the recording. I shall bring you back when there is something to report, so see you soon. And welcome back. We've made a fair bit of progress. As you can see, we're still at our storage capacity for coats and for tools, and that's a nice place to be. We are also at our storage capacity for coal, which is fantastic. Um, one thing I'm wondering, though, is when this mine can't work anymore because we've got the amount of coal that we need, do the workers, instead of becoming laborers, come over and help at this mine, which can still mine? Hmm, I'm not sure. Worth knowing, though. But we are at our capacity for most of the things we're producing. This herbalist is being deconstructed at the moment. This quarry only has 73%, so our iron mine is the one that's uh, lowest down. Hmm. I'm going to have to keep an eye on that. But as you can see, for the fact that I'm demolishing one of the herbalists, we have our herbalists up here. And they are already starting to produce, I believe. That one's already got 78 herbs this season, and this one has got 59. Let's have a look at you. How much have you got? You are... well, previous season you got 74. I might leave you there until... I'll keep an eye on that. We've got enough laborers that I don't really need to worry too much about it. But we have a small storage barn, or rather a storage barn. We have two forests going up, and a well on the build as well. So this area should be uh, starting to produce some stuff soon. I've also built another storage barn just down here. As I noticed that... well, it's not the case anymore, but this was up to 90... 394% full. I think the other marketplace has started to take materials from it, so they're balancing between themselves, which is something I, I wasn't sure they would do. I'm very glad to see that it is something they tried to do. But the result was that if this one became full, this fishing dock, and in fact the tailors and the blacksmiths here, wouldn't have anywhere to put their goods. So I've decided to put this there just so that they do have a nearby drop-off location in the event that the market is full. Or even if they go there first, the workers in the market hardly have very far to travel in order to pick it up. I've also greatly increased the number of vendors we've got. In fact, I'm going to increase the number of traders we've got too. I mean, we've got 10 laborers right now. Our population is 141 working adults, 18 students and 24 children. It is fantastic. And we're getting to that point now where... As the elders of the colony die, there are children of a breeding age ready to move into their house. That sounds so callous, the way I put it. But uh, unfortunately, you do have to start thinking in these ways when you're running a colony like this. Now, we want to upgrade a couple more houses. I think we'll upgrade you. And... Oh, no, we're not going to upgrade yours yet. Oh, actually. Um, yeah, I'm going to upgrade that house. I'm also going to go ahead and uh, build a couple more houses, I think. But we're going to start as we mean to go on at this point. We're going to start building stone houses instead. So we'll have... How about... Can I fit one in there? No, of course I cannot. How about... No. No, nowhere to put it. Damn it. No, no, nowhere. Damn. Well, the herbalist no longer cares, so I could just uh, start placing a couple around here. One will fit in there, though I'd lose the space around there, unless... No. Well, I should have planned that out a little bit better, honestly, but uh, oh well. I'll place another two houses there, since there's quite a lot of jobs in this particular area. So hopefully we'll be able to get all that done. And I'm actually going to increase the amount of builders we've got, too. Now, we've got the foresters up and running, so... Ooh, that's quite a lot. Wow, I hadn't anticipated being able to put so many people into work up there. But I do not want any trees cut down, thank you. I just want the areas cleaned and new saplings planted. Thank you very much. Now that well is probably very near being complete. Yeah, fantastic. Alright, I'm pretty happy with that. I'll start building houses up there shortly. But for now, I'm going to wait for the houses that I'm currently built and are currently being upgraded to be finished first. Um, may I wonder, should I go ahead and increase the warm coat stocks? Yes, I think I will. I'm going to go ahead and tell them to have at least 200 of these for now. As our population increases, 
if a large group of people at the same time all run out of coats, that could destroy my stock of coats. So let's keep, try and keep a pace with the population at least. How's the graveyard looking? Uh, still only 99 of 144. Once that gets to about 110, 120, I'll build a new graveyard. Probably be there. Maybe even be there. I don't know. I could even have another pasture. Let's have a look. How much chicken and how many eggs are we getting? Well, current season, 660 eggs and 132 chickens. Uh, chicken bit. Um, previous season, nine, 96 wool. That's actually not that much. I think we'll have another sheep pen if I have another pasture at all. And that is because we've got loads of leather coming in, but probably not as much wool. 1,600 mutton. Bonkers. 1,200 beef, though. How did we get a log? I think that's what happened when these trees just randomly fall down and, like, fell near the uh, pasture. The logs got hoovered up by the herdsman. Well done. Yes, yeah, so I think an another sheep pasture would be quite nice. Not sure where, though. I'll have to have a look into that. How are you guys doing down here? Let me have a look at your paths. Everyone working in this area? No, you're working bloody miles away. You're working locally. You're working locally. Okay, who's got jobs elsewhere? Why? Damn it. Why are you working all the way up there when someone from here could work there? Damn. All right, well, I guess we need another house down here then to uh, move things around a little bit more. But we've got a merchant. Let's go check them out. No, don't need any sheep. You can go... Uh, in fact, I'll just dismiss you straight away. Go away. Um, we're getting close to the point where we're not going to need to uh, mine too much more iron for a little while. These buildings are all coming along well. I'm very glad to see. Okay, that's not too bad at all. And up here. Right, it's probably about time that I actually have someone... Uh, some houses built up here, I think. Yeah, let's uh, go ahead and build at least one house. Let's, uh, yeah, let's have one there. We'll have two houses on each side, because there are quite a few people who can live in these. Ah, oh, damn it. No, no, it is in the right place. Okay, that's not too bad then. The other thing I can start doing at this point, ooh. Damn it. A forester died from a falling tree? Take better care of yourselves, you fools. But another thing I really should start looking into is replacing these roads with actual stone roads. That would greatly increase the speed of people moving along them. And we do have the stone at the moment, but I think I'm going to pause the recording while I wait for the buildings that I've set to be built to build. This is probably going to cause a bit of a population boom, or will do in a couple of years. So uh, I might want to hold off on building any more houses for a little while whilst I let things balance out, but I do want one more on this side. Uh, yeah, I will build one more here, and then I'm going to hold off on building any more houses for a bit. Uh, yeah, we'll have it in line there. Right, on that note, I'm going to be pausing the recording, and I shall bring you back when there is something to report, so hopefully see you soon. Welcome back once again to the fact that we have another train with 24 chickens. Oh my god. We have had one other trader pass through who had uh, food, general general food. I'm not sure if that is a general goods merchant or just literally a food merchant. But we bought a reasonable amount from them. I'm not sure if there'll be any of that left, though. Quite a lot of wheat and grains. There we are. There's some wheat there. We've also built a new pasture, a very large pasture, which shall be uh, storing sheep. Now, I'm going to go ahead and split this herd up and have at least half of them go over here. Now, I decide, I was looking for a place to put them, and I thought I could put them there, but then if this place gets a sheep malady, it will affect this one as well, or, or could potentially affect it. So I did want to split it up. There was room enough to put another 20 by 20 up here, but again, that's right next to the sheep emergency pasture. I suppose I could have swapped the cows and sheep, come to think of it. That may have been something I should have done. Damn, I should have thought of that. But anyway, having some sheep down here isn't going to be that much of a problem, I don't think. 
we have done a fair bit of replacing of stone houses and we're almost finished replacing yet another despite that we have a reasonable a reasonable amount of stone thanks to harvesting up here though i haven't noticed our foresters doing much harvesting i'm wondering if perhaps the foresters only gather materials if they're set to cut down trees I'm not sure on that but we've got plenty of foresters working there they're just not gathering the materials unfortunately but we have got the houses made now, I will probably need to make more houses up here, and we do have the stone to allow for it. Let me just go down and check. Well, yes, you've already got all of your resources, so you're fine, right? Okay, we'll, uh, we'll set up a couple more houses to be built up here. Another stone house, I think. Let's get that facing the right way. Oh, dear, we've uh, messed that up a little bit. Oh, no, it's because of the uh, size of the herbalist that we had to build it there. And we'll have another one but there as well, I think. There we go. Oh no, someone just died in a cave-in. Tragic. Let me go and have a look at the graveyard. It's getting a little bit sad, actually, having it so full of graves. I know I said graveyards are pretty, and they are, but uh, they they do have a, a rather sad element to them as well. Especially when it's our citizens filling it up. Right, let's uh, place two more houses over there. We should be good for now. Let's have a look at this graveyard. 109. Okay, it's still less than uh, I said I, I wanted it to be before I would build another. We have completed this tunnel, and people are actually using it as well, occasionally, now and then. And I'm very glad to see that, considering it cost me like 96 wood. But oh my god, look at all of the firewood. There are crazy amounts of firewood there. Let's uh, see how much of that is stored in our marketplace. Only 37 of that is stored in the marketplace. That's uh, a little bit of a difference, really. How about down here? 151. Hmm. I think we need more vendors. Possibly. But we don't actually have that many laborers at the moment. My lord, shut up, chickens. And cows. Livestock, just be quiet. Now, we've got 63% remaining on the quarry there. 70% remaining on the coal mine, but uh, we're doing alright with that. I've increased the amount of tools we can stockpile up to 200. And 56 on the iron mine. That isn't so good. Let me have a quick look. Wait, could we possibly have another iron mine down here, perhaps? Because if I can, I would rather have it down here simply because we've already got the infrastructure for it. Perhaps rotate it around. We could put it on the other side there. In fact, we could have uh, one over here, I imagine. Yes. No. Yes. Hmm. Well, that would mean we wouldn't have to start expanding out in this direction too soon, but at the same time, I kind of want to, if I'm perfectly honest. I would like to have another marketplace in the middle there and then uh, dot some mines around on a quarry. I, I really like that little area for a quarry. I think that would be perfect for it. But these little uh, herbalist areas are coming along. I will possibly build another gatherer. I'm not sure. We really don't need it. In terms of food, we're doing fine. Uh, population 148, students 18, 29 children as well. It is the winter of year 51. Actually, let's have a quick look at the town hall. Let's pull out the census information. Now, 68% of our citizenry are educated. That is very nice. Four from one little tiny school. What a difference it has made. 99% of our citizens are clothed. Uh, well, you know... If someone wants to walk around naked, I'm not going to stop them. They're not hurting anyone. Well, I assume. It's 19 students there, 28 children. Oh, damn, bloody cave-ins. 194 total citizens. That's awesome. 90, 93 of them are farmers. Oh, oh, no, I thought I said farmers. I was like, really? So you get half of our citizens to supply food for them? That, my goodness, no. 93 families. Uh, we don't need to look at that, but let's have a quick look at... Well, let's extend, extend this to five years. In five years, we've used 830-odd logs and produced 1,000. Well, that's generally quite good. Uh, sorry, no, this is it. Uh, 4,098 logs used in five years and 4,337. Wow. That's interesting, because in this year, we've produced 200 more logs than we've needed, but in the last five years, we've only produced 300 more logs than we needed. That's interesting. Oh, glorious tea. 
firewood, we're getting much better at that at the moment. That was teetering on the, the bad side for a little while. Food, fairly good. Alcohol is the only thing we're not producing at the moment. I need to change that. The moment I get some grains, the actual seeds, we will be making a brewery. Let's have a quick look at our inventory. Let's uh, sort it by quantity. Let's see what we've got the most of. We've got the most of fish, mutton, and firewood. Beef, berries, venison. Mostly we've got food, which makes sense. Uh, coal, we've got reasonable amounts of tools. No hide coats, no iron tools. We've, we've gone through all of those. That's fair enough. Any nomads? No, there are no nomads requesting citizenship. I'm not sure why. Harlach is a beautiful town. Damn it. Recognize the beauty of my town. I won't accept you, but you should recognize it nevertheless. Got a builder up here at the moment. That makes sense since there's so much building work taking place. If I were to build a gatherer, I probably wouldn't build one in each side. I'd just have one central. Well, that might be worth it. Let's have a look. How well are you doing? You're, you haven't produced much this season. Wow. But then again, these trees aren't that old. I mean, you can see the old trees just from the size of them. What about you? Again, not that many. Is it perhaps that you've reached... No, you haven't reached your maximum. I'm not sure why that is, then. These trees are just falling down there, I believe. It shouldn't be the Forester Lodge. At least I hope not. But on the off chance that it might be... And we won't need these foresters once all of these areas are planted. Let's go ahead and just gather. Since they're not doing it anyway, let's just go ahead and gather all of the stone up here. Then all of the iron. And once that's done, I'll simply remove the foresters. And then these herbalists can be left to their own devices. Right. We'll leave that up there for now. How I'm going to start this up, I'm not sure. We, I believe in Sleepy Joe's Let's Play of Banish. He managed to get fishing docks on these tiny little rivers. I mean, it makes sense that you'd be able to fish them. It'd probably be decent fishing in them, to be perfectly honest. But uh, building a whole fishing docking one? I'm I'm fairly impressed that that was possible. A little bit silly, though. But uh, I might... No, I'm not going to do it. It would look too daft. <laughs> as good as it would be to have this Illyria making some of its own food. There, it, no. No, just that. Just no. Let's instead go ahead and aim for where we're going to be building a market. It should be fairly central. About there, I think, would do. Then we'll bring a road up to it. We're going to pause it. We don't want this built. Not not soon, anyway. Not for a long while yet. Right, there we go. I want this to go up around. We'll just get the road around it made. There we are. And down there. Then all the way out. And connect it up with the bridge. There we go. That'll be our marketplace. I don't want anyone to be working there, obviously. There's no need. But that's in line then for a road up here which will connect to a quarry. And we could eventually end up with this being a, a proper little mining town. Or a rather a mining community of the, of the larger Harlech settlement. We could have dozens of mines on these mountains around here. Maybe two quarries in these locations. And just loads of houses up there. Because eventually these will run out. So I can't do anything with them. So we just won't have any workers there anymore. So all of these workers will suddenly be needing other jobs. And it would be good if we had these for them to immediately move into. Plus, whilst we're setting all of this up... Uh, well, I'm not going to go out of my way to destroy all the trees. We'll cut down the trees as needed. But we'll be able to gather all of these uh, resources. The stone and iron. Alright, let's check on this merchant. What have we got for... Ooh! This is a good merchant. Very good merchant. Corn seeds, pepper seeds. No, we don't need plum more peach. Bean, walnut, squash. Damn it, I wanted wheat. Hmm. Let me see for a second. If I were to build a brewery... Where are you? Brews alcohol and makes citizens happy. But what alcohol does it use is the question. I need to know the answer to this before I can make my plans. <laughs> I could put the brewery next to the school. Maybe the school teacher would need it. I don't know. 
Uh, we could... Let me just see how much room a house would take up. Let's see. If I put you there, how much room would you then need? Would this fit in there? Yes, it would. Okay. Alright, I accept. Let's get rid of this house. We don't need it. How much is that going to take? It's not actually going to take that much, so uh, let's get that going. Chop, chop. For some reason, the music has stopped. Oh, well. You're going to have to just put up with my voice for the few moments that it takes us to get this built. Well, assuming that my laborers actually do their work. Actually, there's only four of them, so this may take a few moments. So I'm going to pause the recording here, and when we return, we will find out whether any of the seeds that are available in this trader will be used to make beer or mead or whatever it is the brewer will be making. So I shall see you in a few moments. And welcome back. Perhaps a little bit earlier than I was expecting, but uh, whilst I was waiting for the priority order on this building to actually take effect, because no one's even come to cut the trees down yet, which I'm a little bit disappointed with, I recalled Sleepy Joe's Banished Let's Play, and he mentioned something in there about being able to turn fruit into ale. So, I think we should be okay with our plum- Oh, hang on, why, why is that not right? Should have ten farmers. I must have accidentally lowered that at some point. But, uh, yes, our plums are actually being gathered, so we should be good to go with that. We will be able to make ale out of plums. Oh, that might be actually quite nice as well. So I'm going to go ahead and buy something else. Um, I think we're going to go for corn. Of the seeds available, that's the one that catches my attention. Let's trade for corn. I hope they will have a decent yield. It's not always obvious what will have a good yield and what won't. And given that we've got three of each type of crop right now, we can afford to just replace one cabbage, one potato... And we'll have two of each type of crop there instead. We've still got room for more orchards, so I will be keeping my eye out in the future to pick up uh, other types of fruit. But I really, really want wheat. Specifically wheat. Because the yield on wheat is apparently much, much better than anything else. And our laborers have made staggeringly swift work of gathering all of this stone and iron. Well done, guys. Now, have you planted everywhere you can plant? And have you planted everywhere you can plant? Hmm. I'll give them a little bit more time. Just enough time to uh, make sure that the, the saplings have been placed everywhere they can be. In fact, what I may do is that when we remove these foresters, that's going to create a sudden lack of jobs for, these little, uh, for the families living in these houses. Because uh, these foresters offer four jobs each. That's quite a lot. That's two houses of just the adults. So what I may do... In fact, what I will do is we're going to go ahead and have a gatherer and a hunter's cabin up here. And they will hopefully be able to make use of the jobs available. Or rather the families, the workforce available. I'll place you there. And we'll get some roads up there as well. About there. Bring that down and across like so. And uh, maybe even double it up. I've made a botch of this road, really. Is that... Oh, that's, that's just messy. Let's do that, then. There we go. That should do. Though, having said that... No, no, I've built it now. I'll just leave it like that. That, that should be good, because from that position, each one seems to have the best coverage of the available forest. So uh, that will work out well, I think. Oh, goodness me. Our chapel is full. Hmm. All right. And our graveyard is getting a little bit full. Right, it is time that we expand, I think. And first, we're going to build the graveyard because that's the more important one. Since uh, if we don't have that built first, then uh, when someone dies, they won't get a grave. And that's a horrible thing to happen. Let's rotate the main gates. Now, someone has pointed out that you can rotate just by pressing R when you're designating something. So, we'll have another graveyard there. However, well, actually, no, look, let's, uh, let's cancel that. Because I don't just want two chapels opposite each other. That looks a little bit silly. Let's instead put the graveyard here. So, we want it 20 by 20. There we go. And rotate the gates around. There we are. Where am I going to put the other chapel? Now, I could... We've got a chapel at this hub. 
I could place a chapel at that hub, and then a chapel down this hub as well. So I'll place the chapel down here, and we'll have a, a place of worship at each market area, I guess. And maybe in the future, I'll stop uh, focusing on having all of my blacksmiths and my tailors around one place, and instead we'll start to spread them out a little bit. That would make a bit of sense, but at the same time, although no one hub is more important than the other, I I do kind of like the idea of really building this one up specifically and having this one be really densely packed with houses. At least one of them to be like that. I quite like the idea of that. So uh, we'd also need a new chapel. Um, I could place it there. Place it over here, perhaps. Or even down there. Um, can I place it up there? No, I can't. That's asking for too much. Oh, no. What happened? The woodcutter was accidentally killed. What? Hang on. I've only just... No, 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 you can't possibly be drunk. There, there's no crimes going on here, at least not drink-fueled crimes, because there's no one working at the tavern yet. Accidentally killed with an axe? How does one accidentally kill someone with an axe? Hmm... And who was the, the other person involved? Because I'm assuming you didn't accidentally fall on your axe or something. Maybe you did, I don't know, but uh, that seems remarkably less likely than with a dagger or something. <sighs> I don't know. Think about building a tavern, then suddenly people are accidentally being killed with sharp objects. Doesn't bode well for Haralech, honestly. I expect more of you guys. But uh, nevertheless, let's uh, place this there. I think we're going to pop that about there. Well, I could even have it there. Hmm. No, we will, we will have it facing the actual hub there. But this is going to be paused immediately because it takes an enormous amount of stone to build one of those. But we do actually have an a tavern and true we can make it out of oh be berries really cherries berries well cherries come from trees but uh, berries that's fantastic w okay so wheat or any type of fruit or berries okay well we're gonna go for plums and <laughs> as much as uh, I am a little bit concerned about that accidental axe murder we're gonna go ahead and have you uh, have an alcohol limit of a thousand I think and on that note, and once I've uh, hired a brewer, I think that's a perfect place to wrap this episode up. Harlach finally has a source of alcohol. And even before the source of alcohol was readily available, someone was accidentally killed with an axe. I leave you to draw your own conclusions, but that is it from me. I do hope you've enjoyed this episode. I hope you will be joining me in the next. But until then, and as always, do take care.